regex affordances. It's about a couple of Python features that can make dealing with regular expressions a little clearer. The article isn't so much on regexes themselves, but things that go with them. The first feature he demonstrates is verbose syntax. This is one of my favorites. Uh, this is a flag you can use in a Python regex that makes it ignore white space. Why would you want to ignore white space in a regex? Well, this allows you to use multi-line strings, which means you can separate the, out the different parts of a regex. And since a Python supports comment characters in regex, you can put a comment on each line so that when you come back to your code and go, what does that gibberish mean? You can remind yourself what that gibberish means means. The second feature in the article is named groups. Regexes support ways of grouping matches, which can be named or unnamed. Uh, if they're unnamed, you get at them through a number, but in the named form, you can access them through a name, which is a bit more readable. For example, parentheses, question mark, capital P specifies a named capture, and then you put the name that you're capturing it into in angle brackets. This is then followed by whatever the regex is that you're matching. So if you're looking for a word with backslash W plus, you could name that capture word inside of your match object in order to work with it. The example in the article uses the sub function in the RE module, which is all about substituting one value for another. It typically takes three arguments. It supports more, but three are what's needed. Uh, the first is the regex pattern. The second is the replacement string when a match is found. And the third is the text that you're actually operating on. The third feature in the article is about that replacement bit. Something I didn't realize is that instead of providing replacement text, you can provide a reference to a function. If you do that, your function gets called for each bit being replaced. This is pretty powerful as it allows you to make choices about what to do when a match is found. So this is something I'm going to keep in mind for later.